Well, coffee diseases um, affect uh, the producers in a way that uh, they reduce the amount of coffee that they can uh, harvest every year. But not only that, they can also affect the quality of the coffee. And that's something very important for us because uh, any damage that the coffee beans uh, suffers in the, during the disease is going to uh, re be reflected finally in the coffee cup. And uh, that's why it's very important for us to take care of diseases not only from the point of view of production, but also from the point of view of quality. Uh, in this sense, we have to take uh, care that any measure that we take in order to control diseases or pests uh, is going to be friendly with the environment, friendly with the coffee farmers that are living in, this, in those areas, and also friendly with the quality of the, of the coffee. And that's why we have a, a system in which we uh, make experiments to see how these uh, me control measures are affecting the quality and uh, all the way on in the production chain until the, the coffee cup. We also have a problem with the coffee berry border, that is an insect. Uh, it arrived to Colombia in 1988. However, we don't have the chance to produce uh, resistant varieties to the coffee berry border, so we had to use something that we call integrated pest management, and that implies a lot of work from the farmer to uh, have cultural practices in the farm uh, use biological control and in a few cases he can use uh, um, pesticides and in that way using all these practices together he can control the problem and produce coffee of good quality and we are currently working on, on ways to understand how the coffee plant reacts to this insect and see if we using genomics we can produce in uh, some years a, a variety that is resistant to the coffee berry border. So again, the main diseases that affect coffee are the ones that are coming from Africa. So the first one was the coffee leaf rust, the second one was the coffee berry border, but there is a third one that is the coffee berry disease that is caused by a fungus that is called Colletotricum. It's critical because it attacks directly the beans and uh, the yields are reduced in a dramatical way. And uh, unfortunately in Africa, the way to control the disease is mostly using chemicals. And that's something that we are trying to avoid at, at, at all costs here in Colombia. So uh, right now we are testing our varieties for resistance to this particular disease. We cannot do the, this in Colombia because the disease is not present in the American continent. So we have to send our samples to Portugal. But uh, we are confident that a, a good part of the uh, plants that are coming out in, in our new varieties, they have also resistance against the coffee berry disease. So that's another uh, positive point for our varieties.